Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. I will help everyone's having a great day today. Marie and I, we've been pretty busy all day today. Yeah. We went this morning early. We both had doctor's appointments for today. And we will be doing an update on our Sunday chat this week to tell you exactly you know, what's going on and give you some updates on it. Yeah. Um, after we went to our doctor's appointments, we went to our favorite Mexican restaurant. And while we were there, Marie, tell them what you suggested. Well, I suggested that we go by the grocery store and do this taco uh, spaghetti tonight for supper. I thought it would be very good to have. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're having tonight for supper. We're going to have taco spaghetti. I've never made this before. Uh, Marie, have you ever made this particular recipe before? No, but I've seen it, uh, and so I thought it would be a good one, and I thought that it would be an easy one for you to make. <laughs> okay, that's what I need is an easy one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm actually going to be doing the cooking and all the work on it. Notice we've got a nice big hair there. Okay. <laughs> Better there than there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I'm actually going to be doing all the cooking on this particular recipe, and then Marie's going to come back with me and help me with the uh, taste test, right? Yeah, also while we were at the Mexican restaurant, our favorite, our favorite little person uh, met us there, and we had fun with her, didn't we? We sure did. Addison loves Mexican food. We didn't yes. realize how much she loved it until we watched her, and she just absolutely loves Mexican food. She had a little... Uh, toy figurines that are about this high, and she sat there and played with them and ate really good. <laughs> Maybe she'll come by here tomorrow, and we can let her do a taste test on this taco spaghetti. Okay. Well, so, I'm gonna let um, Calvin uh, do his recipe because <clears throat> I had a couple of shots today, and so I'm gonna go in there and rest. <laughs> let me show him one thing before you leave. Okay. Now, this is something that we made yesterday, and these are peanut butter bars, and I want you to just look how beautiful those look. And very tasty. And they were very tasty. We really enjoyed them. And so, on the Sunday chat video that we do this week, uh, I will be showing you a little bit of how we made them. We didn't do a full video on them. Also, over here is a bunch of our vegetable squash. Uh, tomatoes, bell peppers, cucumbers, and a few little cherry tomatoes that are just starting to turn red. I so, can't wait to do a squash casserole. That's one of my favorite casseroles. It's going to be real good. <laughs> okay. okay, so I'm going to get started browning the hamburger meat, and while it's browning, I'm going to prep the uh, vegetables. So I'll be back with you in just a few minutes here. Okay, uh, see y'all in a little while.
Okay, everyone, I've got my onions and bell pepper chopped up already, and we're using one pound of hamburger meat, and I'm going to go ahead and start chopping it up before it browns. And somebody told me in the comments that if you spray this first before you chop your meat up, that the meat don't stick to it as bad. So I'm going to try that and see if that helps. Now it's still sticking to it, so I don't know if that helped or not. Okay, it takes a few minutes for this countertop burner to heat up, but as soon as it gets going good, I'm going to add my onions and peppers to it. Also, I'm going to put some garlic in here. Uh, I didn't have it sitting out here, but I'm going to get it and add some garlic to it also. Okay, everyone, the ground beef is starting to heat up enough that I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and peppers to it. And after it gets hot, it don't stick quite as bad as it did when it was cold, so maybe that's the trick. It just needs to be hot first. Okay, I used... It, the recipe only calls for a half of a bell pepper, but I used a small pepper that had came out of the garden, so I just went ahead and used the whole pepper. And for the onion, it only called for half an onion, but I went ahead and put the whole onion in anyway. It was a small onion too. So, add this to it and let it start heating. And this ground beef is a very lean ground beef and uh, I think it was 85% beef and so uh, shouldn't be too much grease on it, hopefully not. So I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, continue to brown. As soon as it gets through browning, I'll be back with you. Okay everyone, I'm back and the hamburger meat looks like it's good and brown. The onions and peppers are starting to get tender. So I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic to it now. And like I said on another video, we like to use the garlic that's in the uh, little glass jars that's already chopped up. So I'm going to put one good spoonful in there. Okay, let this cook for just a, maybe a minute before I add anything else to it. Mm, I love that flavor right there. You can really smell it. Uh, that's one of the best things about cooking is getting to smell the food while it's cooking. Okay, next thing I'm going to add is one pack of taco seasoning. When you add that taco seasoning to it, you really start to smell the flavors then. Okay, next step. This is one can of, uh, this is Rotel tomatoes, but I'm using the uh, a Great Value brand. Just put it in there with the juice and all. Okay. 
And then I'm going to add three cups of chicken broth. It's probably going to take a few minutes for this to get hot enough to start to boil. Go ahead and stir it up a little bit. And on my spaghetti, I'm going to go ahead and add it now. Uh, this time I went ahead and bought the spaghetti that's cut in half. And this is a one pound package. I'm only going to be using half of it, about eight ounces. And just put your spaghetti right on top of it. That should be fine. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to let it sit here until it comes to a boil. And then as soon as it comes to a boil, I'll reduce the heat and let it simmer for about maybe 10 minutes or so until the noodles are just like we want them. So uh, let's let this get started and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, everyone. This has came up to a boil. So I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm going to let it sit here and simmer for about 10 more minutes. And when it gets through, I'll be back with you. Okay, everyone, I'm back here. And this really does smell good. I let it cook for two extra minutes because it had a little extra liquid in there. And I figured it'd be good to go ahead and let it cook some of that liquid out. You don't want it to be completely dry. Let me turn the timer off. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from the heat. Boy, don't that look good. Okay, so now I'm going to add some cheese to the top of it. Calls for about a cup and a half of cheese. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to put pretty good bit of cheese on there. Okay, that should be enough cheese. Put the lid on here just for a minute to let it melt down some. As soon as this melts down, I'm going to add some tomatoes to the top of it. And I'm going to also add some green onions to the top of it. And then I'll be ready to make us a plate. And uh, Marie's going to come in here and do a taste test for us. So uh, let this melt for about two minutes and we'll be back with you. Okay, I'm back everyone. This has been sitting here for a couple of minutes and the cheese has melted down, looks real good. And this is uh, two Roma tomatoes and I'm just going to sprinkle these across the top here. I'm going to go ahead and put all these tomatoes on. And then I've got some green onions and I'm going to add green onions to the top of it also. You can actually top this with the cilantro or you know whatever toppings you want to put on it. Uh, Marie and I both, we don't really care for cilantro that much, so we hardly ever use it. We have used it, but not much. Okay, let me get a picture of this, and then I'm going to let it cool for just a minute, and Marie's going to do us a taste test.
Okay, I got my pictures made, and I got some out for Marie to do a taste test. Marie, are you ready to come do a taste test? Yes, I am. It's been smelling great. <laughs> okay, come on around and give it a try, and let us know what you think about it. I didn't add any extra salt and pepper to it. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Mm -hmm. I've been looking at this as it cooked, and I just can't wait to get a plate and enjoy it. And mm -hmm. it, it got through in perfect time. It's time to enjoy it right now. It's delicious. Is it good? It is. It's would, really good. You think it's we would make this again? Oh, yes. Definitely. What I like about it is pretty easy to make. It all made up in one pot. Mm -hmm. And uh, not very expensive. Of course, your hamburger meat's going to cost the most. But, but you could substitute it probably with turkey. Maybe. You could use turkey or something like that. So. But who wants to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you. I'd rather have the good hamburger meat. Right? Me too. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, we're going to go in here, and I'm fixing to make me a plate, and we're going to go in here and enjoy our supper tonight. And I hope you enjoyed watching me make this video. Uh, we're going to try our best to post this video for Friday evening. But y'all be sure and tune in Sunday morning and catch our Sunday chat because we got a lot of good updates that we want to give you on Sunday morning, don't we, Marie? Yeah. Okay, so uh, y'all have a great evening and weekend and we will see you on our next video okay and so y'all have a great uh, weekend like calvin said so y'all do what you love and love what you do and bye like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting here i got time it's clear to see from up here